Hello everyone, welcome to that episode of Let's Complete the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. In the last episode, we got back to the Thieves Guild, and in this episode, we are continuing with the Thieves Guild. So, we are shadowing Gollum Eye, or Gargule, or whatever the hell he's called, <laughs> into this building, and we are going to equip both Muffle and Invisibility, because they are going to be very helpful in shadowing him, because, you know, obviously they're... You know, we need to shadow, stay in the shadows, so obviously, uh, you know, if we can be invisible in the shadows, then that's even better. We also have Muffle, and of course we also have the Quiet Casting perk, so, yeah, we are. We are all set to sneak around, sneak around this warehouse. Uh, yeah, trust me, they they won't be too happy if they do find us. So, I love that, because uh, we did actually go back and pickpocket a whole load of stuff from Vittoria Vici. Um, just to, you know, level up our pickpocketing, you know, just may as well take, take, the, uh, take the opportunity. And I think, yeah, look at this, so... He's obviously going that way, but we can sneak up here. So we can take the high road. So it kind of gives us a... Uh, uh, why is there a goat in here? <laughs> what the hell? Okay, whatever. But yeah, it gives us the opportunity to... You know, we're not actually directly following him, I suppose. And it, also, we've got a whole load of conveniently placed barrels and objects and stuff here. Uh, which is very interesting. Ooh, ooh, look at all that. We've got a whole load of ingots down there. <laughs> I really want to... I'm going to let him go... Okay, we've got a guard there. I'm going to let him go past. Then I'm going to just... Uh, I really want those ingots. <laughs> they're, uh, are they iron? I think so. Yeah, okay, so there he is. And we are... Okay, yeah, that's uh, Destroyer Invisibility. That's fine. We were going to... Yeah, they are iron. And visibility was going to be broken, but when we uh, grab these things anyway, I think we could grab some hammers or something there as well, but I will. Okay, back invisible again. And what is this? Oh, a master lock. What is... What is in here? <laughs> I know he's kind of getting ahead of us, but uh, I very much would like to. Is there anything in here? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, there's no point. To... Oh! What the? Oh, it's uh, oh, an ingot. I see, I see. <laughs> more ingots. Well, sure, I'll take more ingots. I always have more time for ingots. Or more space. I mean, not really, to be honest. We actually don't have that much space, but... Uh... Hey, what up? Excuse me, can I roll? Thank you. Yeah, okay, so we've got a guard here. Uh, but that's fine. Let's just... Uh, you... Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Yo, ma'am, sir. No, oh, no, you are a sir. Okay. Yeah, let's just uh, squeeze on right past you. Where's Gollum Eye? He's got, gotten quite far ahead. Oh! Okay, I don't think actually knocking objects off counts. <laughs> Thankfully, because yeah, we just knocked over a whole lot of things. But uh, hey, that's fine. Okay, I think we're not muffled anymore, but that's fine. Let's uh, sneak around this way. And which way are you going, Gollum Eye? There is... Ah, uh, yes, we need to get up there because there is a unique thing. Up in that little house up there. It's not really little, but you know what I mean. So let's just sneak ahead of him. Because, I mean, let's be honest, I know where he's going, so... <laughs> I don't need to, you know, stick on his tail uh, too too, too heavily, uh, literally, because he has a tail, because he's an Argonian. Instead, we are going to sneak on up here. And... Let's just muffle again. We're going to steal this East Empire Company shipping map right here. Also, we're going to steal all this other stuff. Gold and rings. I didn't mean to take the iron dagger, but oh well. I will drop it later. All these coin purses, more coin purses... Pheasant breaths. No, you can keep the pheasant breaths. I don't need that. I will take the wolf pelt though. <laughs> just to add insult to injury, you know. I've got I've got loads of wolf pelts, but I just want to take it because I don't know. It's just the kind of person I am, I guess. Or the kind of person Luvana is. We've got a whole load of what is that troll fat? I think, which would be kind of good to take as well. But uh, yeah, I think we might take that. Let's uh, let these guys get a get a head first. Where are you heading, Gullamai? I thought he might head down here, but no, I think he, he does head down a set of stairs at some point, but not yet. Yeah, it is troll fat. Let's uh, let's take all the troll fat. I took a broom as well, but <laughs> oh well. Back on invisibility. Got any... Oh, potions. <laughs> nice. I mean, it does make sense that it's kind of like a large volume of the same thing in one place because it's all warehouse. You know, oh, okay. I have no idea what he's doing. He just went to the end and like, I don't know, like, I have no idea what he did. <laughs> Uh, we're kind of in the open here, to be honest. I mean, we're not right in front. I mean, there's a torch right there, but it is at least fairly dark here. Where are you heading? I think he does actually go down there. Right? I think that's why I was confused. Yeah, yeah, he's going down there. Yeah. Yeah, see, I knew he went down there. I just got, I just jumped the gun a little bit. I have no idea what he did over here, actually. <laughs> Can I just... What is over here? Oh, it's like a, the numbers book. I see, I see. Yeah, that's uh, similar to the one that we have. Uh, Delvin has us change when we do the numbers job. Let's just uh, follow him down. Oh, look at this. Got a little secret passageway here. Got some, oh, some skooma. Some skooma. It's not really worth that much though, so no point taking it. And he has gone inside Brinewater Grotto, which we, of course, are going to follow him in. <laughs> so, unfortunately, we do not have our, uh, our raised uh, Hamlin anymore. 
Uh, because, yeah, we have to destroy him, otherwise he would uh, ruin our sneaky sneaks, and we can't be having that. So, instead, we are going to put gold brand in this hand, and glass dagger of animus in this hand. We're going to see if we can capture some souls while we're here. <laughs> And we will hopefully uh, raise raise someone powerful from the dead. So this guy looks more powerful. Huh? Bandit Marauder. Okay, come on, come on. So close. Excuse me. Get out of the sneak. Okay, Bandit Outlaw. Yeah, you are definitely of a lesser quality. I'm pretty sure Marauder is uh, more powerful. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise this guy from the dead. Because yeah, the big uh, this staff is really weird with charge. Yeah, look, see, there we go, there, then it's charged. You have to hold it for, like, five seconds. It's really weird. But whatever. So, yeah, there we go. We now have a bandit coming with us uh, to help us out, and a hopefully a pretty powerful one. We've got all these ingots, which I'm going to take, and potions. Anything else we want to take? No? Okay, I think we are good. Let's go back to our glass dagger. Yeah, because we, we picked up a whole load of... Uh, oh, okay, we've got the infinite roll, because we got we got two things. Someone's going for a swim. Uh, I mean, fair enough. Why not, right? <laughs> oh! No, 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 you can't, you can't see me, you can't see, okay. Well, <laughs> I think my uh, companion kind of gave me away there, but that's, that's fine, I suppose. He's doing a good job, though, you are, honestly, buddy, you are so, he looks really sick as well, look at that cool war paint. Look at that, look at his eyebrows, he's got like, uh, they're like horns coming out of his eyebrows, that's really cool. I love that, what are you, oh, I hear, oh, spiders, I hear spiders, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, he definitely heard them before me. I mean, if you wanna, if you wanna have a go at them, buddy, that's uh. <laughs> oh yeah, there are like spiders directly behind this. I'm pretty sure. I mean, yeah, I can. Is this a is this a passageway? I think so. Yeah, it is a passageway. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Well, let's uh open up this, I suppose. Oh look at that, we're actually pulling these through the through the web, even though I'm just trying to open up the passageway. Yeah, I was gonna let him deal with them, but it seems like that's uh that's not happening. I don't know if he can get through here. Yeah. Please do not come at me. No, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know. It, it's painful, buddy. I don't I don't really care about your plight. There's literally nothing in here. It's just a den of spiders. There's absolutely nothing. Okay, that's pretty disappointing, to be perfectly honest. But fine, I suppose. I'm pretty sure this is just like a shortcut. Uh, just, yeah. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done that, to be honest, because... <laughs> as I'm sure I've just alerted someone else. So yeah, let's go, let's go back this way. I want to... Explore everything and not cut off any any part of the dungeon. Uh, I don't know, it's probably, I know, tactical to go through there or something, but never done so before, so not gonna start doing it now. <laughs> and yeah, it's just, yeah, there's just nothing in there. We've got a side. Oh! Now okay, okay. <laughs> okay, you kinda, you kinda really <sighs> ruining the sneakies here, but I will give you credit, you are doing good. Oh! For God's sake, I didn't wanna hit you, I wanted to hit the other one. <laughs> So that I could capture his soul when you, yeah, when you beheaded him. Nice, nice job. Yeah, this guy is a powerhouse. Yeah, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry I hit you, but you did, you, you kind of got in the way. It's kind of your fault, but. Oh, no, look, there's a tripwire here, so just be careful. Although the trap has actually already sprung with enough, but whatever. Oh! Just walked over a bear trap, but again, whatever, I suppose. Isn't there a, yeah! Yeah, we've got a dog! Oh, no! Oh, no! The, the dog resisted soul trap. Pardon? <laughs> How does a dog resist soul trap? It's just a measly dog, but hey, whatever. I guess it's uh, beefier than its masters. Okay, who we got here? Let's uh. Oh, okay. Yeah, we are. We are not doing good with sneak sneaks in this episode. Not at all. We did just kind of walk straight into a well lit area there. We are capturing these guys' souls left, right, and center. Oh yeah. 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 Uh, how many black souls did we, did we pick up actually? It must have been quite a lot from that. Uh, Necromancer's place? I didn't think it was that many. I thought, it was, you know, we got like three or four or something, but yeah, we must have gotten loads because we are trapping all of these guys' souls, which is excellent and exactly what I want to see. Or hear. Or, or be. You know what I mean. What is in this chest? Trash. <laughs> Isn't that excellent? You're doing a really good job, by the way. Great job. Uh, don't tell Dusk, but you are, you are you're kind of rivaling him for, uh, you know, quality of, quality of service, I suppose. Oh, wow, we're at we're like at the end already, this is... Yeah, we've made good progress here. Okay, buddy. Huh? Wanna... Oh! No, 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 okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, we did still get the... We did still get the sneak damage. That's, that's something, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, okay, he's kind of... He's ruining the sneaks, but that's fine. That's fine. Okay, who else is here? Let's just, uh... 
Let's just Someone charge knows. in. Who else is there? Okay, we've got oh, Golem Eye there. Another fight. Yeah, another fight, another fight. You just stay out of the way, buddy. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, she packs a punch. Let's just use up all these minor healing potions. Let's get my own food and food there. Yeah, okay, she packs a punch. She packs a punch. I will give her that. Uh, who is... Oh, okay, you're another one. Where is that? Where is our friend gone? Excuse me? Is he, is he dead? Did, did someone kill him? They might have. Okay, you are also powerful. I will give you that. Uh, unfortunately for you, though, <laughs> air potions. Uh, so that must that must suck. <laughs> must suck for you. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. I I know you yield. Let's, excuse me. Can I? Why can't I? Okay. Sure. I have no idea what the hell is going on there. It just would not let me hit her. But sure, whatever. Where's my? Where's my guy? We'll deal with Gullamai in a second. Where's my Where's my friend gone? Did he die? Yeah. No, I'm not doing anything rash. I'm looking for my friend. Did he? Oh no, he died. Okay, well, you were a good friend. You were a good soldier. You uh, you helped me out, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, he didn't make it. He was a he was a good friend though. I mean, you did ruin my sneaky sneaks the whole time, but you know, I suppose I, I summoned him, so I was kind of kind of asking for that, I suppose. <laughs> okay, we'll talk to Gullama in a second, but first of all, we're just gonna loot this place. Ooh, Ebony Warhammer of Damnation. How sick is that? I love the Ebony stuff so much. Okay, Gullama, let's uh, let's deal with you, shall we? Now there's no need to do anything rash. This isn't as bad as it seems. I was gonna tell Mercer about everything, honestly. Please, he'll have me killed. Uh-huh. I, I, yeah, I, I smell bullshit, but sure. Mercer doesn't have to know. I see you wish to be reasonable. Perhaps I misjudged you. The name of the person you want is Carlia. You say that name like I should know it. Mercer never told you about her? Carlia is the thief responsible for murdering the previous guildmaster, Gallus. Now she's after Mercer. And you're helping her? Help? No, no. Look, I didn't even know it was her until after she contacted me. Please, you have to believe me. Where is Carlia now? I don't know. When I asked her where she was going, she just muttered, where the end began. Here. Take the Golden Glow estate deed as proof. And when you speak to Mercer, tell him I'm worth more to him alive. Okay, Golden Glow bill of sale added. And while we're here, <laughs> we're going to take everything you... I mean, I suppose he doesn't really own it because, you know, it's just the East Empire Company. But we are going to loot the whole place. And, uh, yeah, I suppose it's going gonna, it's gonna to be on his head. So, <laughs> whether the Thieves Guild might not be killing him, but, uh, yeah, the East Empire Company might terminate him. Which is probably also not in our best interest since we want him as a contact but hey you can blame it on someone else i'm sure got a glass shield there but it's not it's not enchanted or anything so it's gonna weigh us down we did open that master chest pretty quickly so pretty impressed with that you know it's the little things it's the little things guys can get into this one excellent what's in this one 12 gold wow <laughs> that's absolute trash okay uh we've got anything i'm pretty sure there's yeah we've got more chests you over here no i don't need anything else from you buddy i'm just gonna Take all of your things again. Hope, well, I don't really care if you mind, to be perfectly honest. AK, eight gold in there. Got Markarth and Solitude Guard Shield. Got a statue of Dubella, only worth a hundred though. It's not really, not really worth taking. Another expert chest. Man, these uh, these guys do lock lock the chests up tightly, I suppose. Uh, which makes sense. You know, it's like the biggest shipping company in the entirety of uh, Tamriel. It does make sense that they would have high quality. High quality uh, locks and stuff, although it doesn't really make sense that they would like why are there bandits in like the I don't know the, the underneath their warehouse that doesn't really make sense unless they're employed by them. I don't, wow, nine gold in there. Dwarven dagger of harrowing, and do we have anything else? Anything else up here? I mean, come on, there's gonna be something else up here, right? I'm pretty sure there is. We've got some cages there. Is there, uh, is there isn't there some gold for a coin purse? Ah, a coin purse. See. See, I know my Skyrim. I know my Skyrim, guys. Okay, pretty sure that is everything. So we have some cages here. And we also have these levers, which just open the cages. <laughs> oh, and the door, and the door. Yeah, there's nothing in the cages, though, is there? Yeah, just just some fish. We're we're good. We don't need fish, guys. So in here, oh yeah, we have hawkers. Yeah. Well, yeah, I have no beef with you guys. So I, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna run straight. Excuse me. Excuse me, look, I, I know you get a little bit upset. I know you get upset if we come too near you, but I don't want beef, okay? I don't want beef. I just want to just get through, okay? Chill out. Will he follow me out, actually? No, he doesn't follow me out. 
<laughs> yeah, hawkers, they, they, get, they get a little bit upset if you, uh, you get too close to them. They just, they like their personal space. I understand that, you know? It's fine. I also like personal space. Okay, let's head on back to the Thieves Guild, all the way back to Riften, and hand in this quest, and we can also sell all of that stuff we just picked up to Tenilia. <laughs> Uh, and also the other merchants, because yeah, Tanilia, although she has 4,000 gold, it's often not enough for us these days. But yeah, we're just finding loads of loot, which is great, because we do need money. Although I think we're doing quite good for money. How much money do we have, actually? Yeah, 88,000. Not bad, not what bad. What did you need? Okay, let's speak to Mercer. Excuse me. Did Gullamai give up any information on our buyer? He said Golden Glow was purchased by a car liar. No, it... It can't be. I haven't heard that name in decades. This is grave news indeed. She's someone I hope to never cross paths with again. Golomai also told me she was a murderer. Carlia destroyed everything this guild stood for. She murdered my predecessor in cold blood and betrayed the guild. After we discovered what she'd done, we spent months trying to track her down, but she just vanished. Why has she returned? Carlia and I were like partners. I went with her on every heist. We watched each other's backs. I know her techniques, her skills. If she kills me, there'll be no one left that could possibly catch her. If only we knew where she was. Golomai told me she said where the end began. There's only one place that could be. The place where she murdered Gallus. A ruin called Snowvale Sanctum. We have to go out there before she disappears again. We? Yes, I'm going with you, and together we're going to kill her. Here's your payment for solitude. Prepare yourself and meet me at the ruins as soon as you can. We can't let her slip through our fingers. Okay, and I'm actually, if you just give me, give me a second guys, I'm actually just gonna <laughs> reload this here autosave so I can make a new save, because I would like a thumbnail of Mercer standing in front of our beautiful display, so <laughs> you just give me a second, make a new save, and then we can reload this save. Excellent, there we go. See, you've always got to be thinking about thumbnail potential when you're making videos, guys. Okay, Mercer, thank you very much. So we will meet him at Snowville Sanctum. However, first we have an East Empire Company map to hand over to Delvin and also an inventory full of goodies that we need to offload. Uh, Cause yeah, we're about to go dungeon crawling and then we're gonna find more goodies. And yeah, our pockets, uh, pockets are limited on space. So, oh, you need to talk to Tenilia? Oh yeah, about a new armor. Well, looks like you're fitting in well down here. I'm supposed to allow you to trade in one of your pieces of guild armor. So what will it be? Anything different about it? Of course. Otherwise it wouldn't be much of a reward, now would it? Your new piece will enhance your skill beyond that of the original. Trust me. I don't have any of my old armor. Tough luck for you then. Come back when you have at least one of the pieces. Oh, okay, I see. I mean, can we... Oh, okay, we can't sell mm -hmm. anything to a right... Oh, that's annoying. Okay, well, we'll do that uh, next oh, time. You're back. For now... I found this map at the East Empire Trading Company. Interested? Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. This should compensate you for your find. Okay, 800 gold. No Pretty killing good. Or no pain. Okay, since Tanilia won't talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> She's been very antisocial. She Can I talk to us. We will instead sell some stuff Plains, to these guys. Helmets, uh, thankfully, we've got that perk so we can sell anything to anyone, which means we can just sell whatever to these guys. Dwarven Dagger of Harrowing. Uh, that's way too expensive. Uh, we'll sell that to one of the other guys. Sanctified Iron Dagger stuff. Okay, do we have any? Yeah, potion. Yeah, you can. It, not That's not a potion, that's a mm -hmm. scroll, but you know what I mean. You can just have that. Yeah, let's just, uh, just offload a couple a of these things. I've got a staff for you, but uh, actually, no, Ebony Greatsword. Yeah, yeah, you can have that, see? Uh, all speeches. Until next time. Yeah, nice, nice. Oh, that's... <laughs> so it's funny, because, you know, now that we've got the perk that we can sell anything to anyone, it means that we can just sell this guy, like, the most out-of-character out of things. Let's, uh, let's at least sell him something, you know, vaguely related stuff of banishing. That works. Do you have any... Potions to set, yeah, filter of light feet, sure, I don't really need that, that seems fine. And I have Looking a big, a big hammer to sell you, sir. 
It's weighing us down. Yeah, Ebony Warhammer of Damnation. Excellent. Thank you for your service, guys. Okay. Uh, boys? Yeah, just, yeah, they're all just boys because Tanilia doesn't want to give us her service because she's salty because I don't, I'm not wearing any of my Thieves Guild armor, so I have none to trade in. So yeah, I'll have to, uh, <laughs> I'll have to go and pick some up. Uh, yeah, I, do, I, do, I think we probably want uh, the hood to trade in because I think that gives you better speech. But I'm not sure. For now, speaking with silence, I'm on my way to meet Mercer Frey at the ruins of Snowvale Sanctum, Carlia's last known location. Together, Mercer and I intend to hunt her down and make her pay for Gallus' murder, which is exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> and yeah, I love how uh, you know Gollum I was like, Mercer didn't tell you. Sorry, it's like, Mercer. no, he's he's really not a he's not a he's not a talkative guy. You know, he he's also just not a very nice guy. He's, he's a grumpy old bastard essentially. So. Snowvale Sanctum is right next to Sidva's Respite, or Retreat, whatever the hell that was, which we went to to... Was that where we got gold fragments? I think so. So yeah, we can just uh, hop on over here. Go in the middle of the middle of the snowy plains, probably the ideal weather for him, to be honest. Honestly, I wish... Uh, oh, okay, that that is a dragon, and it is indeed aggroed. Okay. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not the best news in the world. Let's uh, summon dust. I mean, I kind of didn't want to... You know, it's, yeah, I don't really want to fight a dragon right now, but it doesn't seem like I have much of a choice, unless, it's, I mean, if he's going to stay... Okay, you know what? I'm going to go, let's make a quick save, and I'm going to go and talk to Mercer, because the thing is, if the dragon comes over here, it's going to ruin things, but hopefully Dusk can deal with him, and he won't interrupt us. So, Mercer, let's, uh, let's have this conversation quickly. Good. You're finally here. I've scouted the ruins, and I'm certain... Oh, okay, yep, that is what I'm afraid of, yeah. Okay, looks like we are indeed dealing with the dragon. We have no <laughs> we have no say in this matter anymore. Okay, let's, uh, while well, we're in sprint a little bit so we can get a little bit closer, I guess we'll, uh, just fire some magic at him since we, we really do need, like, a, a ranged weapon. Who is... Oh, it's a frost humor. I was wondering who the hell the dragon was fighting because it, it kind of looked like a person but it was also hunched over, so I was like, what the hell? But no, no, it's just, it's just a frost troll, although this actually is a base dragon, so actually, yeah, you're really easy. Yeah, you are, you pick the fight with the wrong person, buddy. Wrong, wrong person. Yeah, there we go. Let's also just finish off this frost troll. Look at, look at this regeneration. Yeah, you've got crazy regen. Who else is, I, I have no idea who else is aggroed, but you know what, that's not my problem. Man, we still got a lot of carry weight. Yeah, I don't, yeah, okay, well, we'll take those. We just have to be selective. About what else we take in this dungeon. Okay, Mercer. I look, I don't know who else is aggroed in the distance, but it's really not a big deal, okay? Just just let it go. Look, look, come No no no, there's this who? Who is near? There's I mean there's still a dot in the distance, but like that's so far away, guys. Can we Like look, it's it's not even Yeah. Look, let's just calm down. Yeah, nothing, it's nothing. Look, come back over here, Mercer, and have a conversation with me, okay? Can we can we talk to him? Good. Yeah. I've scouted the ruins and I'm certain Carlia is still inside. You saw her? No, I found her horse. Don't worry, I've taken care of it. She won't be using it to escape. Let's get moving. I want to catch her inside while she's distracted. Take the lead. Damn, killed the horse. You want me to lead? I'm sorry, I was under the impression I was in charge. You're leading and I'm following. Does that seem clear to you? Understood. Just make certain you keep your eyes open. Carlia is as sharp as a blade. The last thing I need is you blundering into a trap and warning her that we're here. Okay. Tell me about Carlia. She was a stubborn Dunmer. Always had to do everything her way. But she was also the best, bringing in more coin a month than some thieves heist in a year. Gallus trusted her too much and let her get too close. So they had a relationship? If you want to call it that, yes. Me? I think she was softening him for the kill. Gallus would call her his little nightingale. He was absolutely smitten by her. Why did she kill him? Greed? Jealousy? Spite? Who can say what drove her to such an iniquitous act? One thing's certain I intend to find out before she draws her last breath. Isn't murder Dark Brotherhood territory? I have a long-standing arrangement with the Dark Brotherhood. 
I need someone in the guild taken care of, we do it ourselves. We both agree it's best to keep these matters in-house. Wouldn't you just not perform the Black Sacrament then? <laughs> Let's get going. <laughs> Whatever, yeah, this is, this is her little campsite with her horse. And I suppose it was necessary to kill the horse so that she can't make a quick escape, but... Oh, Potion of Glibness, sure I'll take that. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of still sad, but anyway, let's head on inside. I like the Fiends in the Cauldron Wind hold in the distance there, which is pretty. I mean, it's not that, it's, it's not surprising, of course it's there, but I don't know, I like when you can see things in the distance. We've got five honeycomb here, uh, and I think, I think I can't get in this door. Yeah, it requires a key, you can see it's got like locks over it. So I think we... Uh, yeah, okay, Mercer is here. Okay, you are, you are being fast. I think we need him to they open the door. They say that these ancient Nordic burial mounds are sometimes impenetrable. Hmm, this one doesn't look too difficult. Now you could probably just melt it. Quite here. simple, really. I don't know what the fuss is about these locks. All it takes is a bit of know-how. Not a lot of skill. That should do it. After you. Oh, did you look at that? He unlocked it, which is uh, not usually how these things work, by the way. So just just remember that, you know. Usually, usually if it says needs a key, you you do need a key. So uh, yeah, just just remember that. Got some barnacle clusters on the floor. So we are finding Carlia. The stench in here. This place smells of death. Be on your guard. Yeah, it's uh, it's almost like it's a tomb, <laughs> and filled with dead people. What? <laughs> What a novel idea, man. Messer is just so, so, so on the ball, you know. Okay, so we've got some tombs that are absolutely 100% gonna open up. Um, but we may as well take all that stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, they did not like me taking their stuff. That's fair enough, to be honest. We've got a rest of Draga there, so you can 88 nights. You have been detected, though, and I'm pretty sure I took the sword that I did not want. Uh, but I am catching some souls, which is great. Can you, yeah, finish her off for me, thanks. They were both female that time, which is a... Nice new little novelty. I'm pretty sure I did take a sword there. Uh, ancient. Wait, no, did I not? Did I not take a sword? I thought I took something. Am I? Oh, an iron dagger. I don't. I don't want that. Why do I have? Okay, maybe I didn't take anything. Who knows? Okay, what did this chain do? Okay, it opens this, which has some treasure behind it, some potions and a coin purse. Sure, I'll take that. I would like to get to the end of this dungeon in this episode, so we're going to move semi swiftly through it. So hopefully we can keep up, Mercer. The chain over there and watch out for the spikes. Looks like Carlia reset all of the traps. Okay, so pull that chain, and yes, yeah, so it's going to open the door. But I assume also uh, he's going. Oh look at that! We've got hulking Draga. Ugh, ugly, ugly, ugly. <laughs> I mean, all of the all of the Draga are ugly, but I don't know the hulking Draga. They're just they're a whole new kind of ugly. Okay, who's that? Oh, okay. You're still alive. Well, I mean, you're not, you're not alive, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I also have your soul, which is uh, I will add it to my collection. Trust me, it'll be used greatly for my uh, enchanting, enchanting level up. So let's pull this chain and jump out the way. It gives us plenty of time, so it's fine. Nice, uh, cool pose you're doing there, Mercer. I'm cooler than you, though. Just always remember that. Never forget that I am MD cool. Okay, so we've got two. Oh man, two hulking Draga here. Okay, yeah, these guys are these guys are tough. I mean, it's kind of strange to see them because I think most of the, the Hulk okay yeah we can get some of that there I swear the Hulk and Draga are mostly in Solstein I'm pretty sure they were added with the Dragonborn DLC uh, which is kind of I believe it's a nod to the fact that in Morrowind and Morrowind was really is it dented iron shield is that unique I don't think so and we can't really take anything else anyway uh, yeah when the Blood Moon DLC was released I believe the Draga didn't, they weren't the same thing basically, they kind of retcon the Draga I believe. So I think the Draga in Morrowind were, they were like, they were cursed because they were cannibals, I think? Um, but then of course they changed it in Skyrim so that the Draga were part of the Dragon Cult, which is obviously different. Uh, but then when they did the Dragonborn DLC and obviously we went back to Solstheim, um, they, they added the Hulking Draga so it's kind of like a nod. So the old Draga, I guess. We have a Draga just uh, wandering the tombs there. You look a uh, fairly low level. Yes, you are indeed just a baby Draga. So, oh, okay, but that That's one's not a baby an Draga. <laughs> That's a hulking Draga. Yeah, it is, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's kind of strange to see so many of them in Skyrim. Like, I swear they are, I don't know, I feel like it would be, make more sense for them to be kind of exclusively in, oh, okay, that's Draga Death Lord. okay. Uh, I think, whoa, okay. <laughs> Percy's having a difficult time there. 
Let's summon Dusk, and actually, once Dusk is done, we're also going to uh, going to raise this guy. Or oh, actually, no, just raise the Death Lord. Let's be honest. Uh, and I'm kind of just going to let them deal with it because I don't really. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can't. I can't win this one very easily. Okay. Let's. Uh, oh no. I. Oh, I thought I still had my dagger in my left hand. But no, no. Is is Dusk gone? I think he is. Okay. So for now, let's uh, get our staff of worms out. Oh, okay. Mess us down. Mess us down. Mess us down. That's not good. I don't think they can get to me though. Let's let's raise this guy for now until the death lord dies, and then we will uh, re 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 uh, re summon him. I guess uh, is that sword out of charge? Is that gold brand out of charge? Yes, it is. I thought so. I thought it was not setting people on fire, which is not what we want. Okay, let's, uh, let's get rid of these little ones. Get rid of the ads. Okay, death lord. Yeah, the death lords are death lords are a problem. Uh, we uh, tripped to uh, pressure plate there, or a trip wire, you know what I mean. Come on, you can deal with the baby dragon. Yeah, grow up. Okay, let's uh, get rid of the other guy and re... Well, not re Do you know what I mean? Let's raise this guy instead. Yeah, because death lords are... Death Lords are way better. I mean, not, not that the whole King Drag aren't powerful. They are they are powerful, but you you know you can't you can't be the Death Lord guys. You just can't be the Death Lord. Well, I think you can because you can have like the Draga Death you Overlords or whatever. Uh, but yeah, they, they, Death Lords are better. Guys. Death Lords are better. So she's got a baby white here. Yeah. Okay. You're you're actually white. I thought you were my friend. But no, no, you're not. Oh, one hundred increases seventy nine. Nice. I mean, can you actually help? I'd love it if you could help, buddy. I would love that. Oh, we have a level up though. So let's uh. Save that for the time being and keep going. Where's the where's the pull chain? <laughs> Am I oh right there? Yeah, I'm just I just walked straight past it. Shadows are my domain. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know who you're talking to there, buddy, but whatever, I suppose. Let's get our dagger back out. I do think we will switch to double daggers soon. Oh, okay, we've got that guy there. Well, we'll let the death board deal with him, shall we? <laughs> and instead, we'll just uh, sit here and lockpick this door, you know, because that's totally appropriate for the situation at her hand you know we totally don't need to be you know attacking or defending or anything we can just we can just let other people do that i mean that's the whole point of necromancy right you just make other people do your dirty work yeah we do, we're just leaving to it look at that we've got a uh well it's not really a death lord fight but it's a uh, dragoroff a dragoroff see i like that uh dwarven boots of shock suppression oh man oh carry weight i hate carry weight I hate carry weight so much, I might just drop some dragon bones. Man, I hate carry weight. Okay, oh, uh, you're an archer, actually. That's, uh, that's not that great, to be perfectly honest. And I also annoyingly cannot get through. You can't get through the door. Which is, okay, actually, there we go, there we go. I can get through the door. I can get through the door. Okay, oh, you resisted salt? Oh, Mercer! For God's sake, ugh. I hate Mercer. Because I just hate companions in general. But yeah, Mercer, he's not only a companion and follower and an NPC. Uh, derogatory, if that wasn't if that wasn't clear, uh, but he's also uh, just a grumpy bastard as well, which is just even worse. Uh, excuse me, can I? I would like to pick up this single gold coin on the floor. That's absolutely essential to our playthrough. Three thieves. Pretty sure I've already read that. Yes, indeed we have. Okay, and got all these bone chimes here, which, yeah, I mean it doesn't really matter whether you, whether you walk into them or not because, trust me, they were gonna the dragon were gonna wake up either way. So, it's not a big problem. Okay, who's down here? More people. Yes, indeed, we've got more people. Oh, we have another Death Lord. Okay. Okay, another Death Lord. Let's... Oh. Okay, I would really like to get a sneak attack on this Death Lord. Can you... Buddy. You are completely... Oh! Okay, you're completely in the way there. I, I want to get a sneak attack on this... Okay, well... That's fine, I guess. You... I don't want to attack the Frost Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. He's, uh... Yeah, the followers are completely ruined. Yeah, I think we do need to upgrade to another dagger. As much as I love gold brand, I think we need we need the double dagger damage if we want to be doing sneaky. You know, because we do sneak and then we like you know summon summon or raise something. And that's kind of the, what I always wanted. Uh, let's uh, I like to kill the kill, not like in life. <laughs> let's just kill the skeever. Come on, focus on someone else, buddy. Yeah, these are uh, yeah the archer's not great actually. I think I might might pick someone else. I mean, is this uh, is this death lord? What do you have? Yeah, you, yeah, actually, this guy's way better. <laughs> While uh, Mercer's fighting up there, we are going to raise this guy instead. When it eventually charges up, Mercer, get out of the way. Draco Death Lord, yeah. You, you were, yeah, you were kind of useless, buddy. The other one was, yeah, pretty shitty. Uh, we do have this guy. Uh, got some, some ebony arrows, which are from the Death Lord, which, fair enough, those are powerful arrows. Got a Draga here, and I think there's a... Is it through here? I think we've got another unique thing. There's, there's like a unique Delvin thing in pretty much every... 
every main quest. Yes, indeed. So obviously when we take this, it's going to drop everything on the floor. So, take it and jump. Don't step in the fire, Mercer. Thank you. <laughs> God's sake, NPCs. Uh, okay, I'm actually going to... Oh, no, okay. I can get around the fire. I would like to... He just stepped in the fire. Okay. <laughs> what did I just tell you, Mercer? Whatever. I want you to loot the urns, because even though there's only like three gold in them, that was... It, it was essential, guys. Otherwise, we can't go. We can't continue the playthrough if we don't search the urns. I didn't want that. No. Ancient Nordic War Act. Get out of my inventory. I do not want that. Not in the slightest. Okay, let's also search this urn. Six gold. Excellent. And four gold. That's that's absolutely going to change the course of the Let's Play. Okay, let's let's continue. Another six gold there. And I think this goes through to a, a new a new yeah a new section. See, I know my Skyrim. Okay, let's. Let's change glass dagger of animals. Oh, I think is it out of charge? No, it's still glowing. Is it out of charge? No, it's not. Okay, I think just one of them. One of them resisted the soul trap for some reason. But anyway, let's keep going forward. I would very much like to finish this dungeon in this episode. Otherwise, it's kind of lame. On a clip. Oh, okay. You're yeah. You're a, you're a dragon death lord. Okay, we did did get a sneaky priest though. Nice. Yeah, I've got another death lord though. We can capture his soul, which is excellent. You are a dragon sword, so you are. Yeah, you do not stand a chance against me, Mercer, and our Death Lord. We have caught his soul as well. Oh yeah, man, we have so many soul gems that we're going to be using to max out our enchanting. Oh god, that's still going on, and I just wasn't even paying attention. But another Death Lord here. Yeah, this guy does not stand a chance, so. Yeah, it's literally like Death Lord v Death Lord now. Oh, I should probably name the episode or something like that, shouldn't I? But uh, I have to think of something more catchy. Although, realistically, I should probably name the episode after something, you know, more relevant. But. Hey, whatever. Okay, we've got more guys here, more guys here. Yeah, okay, more Dragon Death Lords. Probably should have uh, sneaked there, but hey, whatever. Oh, you're just a scorch. I don't care about scorchy. Okay, guys, can you, uh, can you get your asses down here? Oh, did you die? Oh, no, okay, no, I, I, I thought our Death Lord was done, but... No, no, we're all good. We're all good, guys. We don't have to summon to get another one, because... Yeah, I don't know, Star Trek Worms just have such a power. They have such a long... Oh, I think someone's got this arm. Someone did this arm show. I do not like that one. It's very annoying. We're holding a very unique uh, golden katana here, and I don't like it when they throw a unique weapon across the wall. Mercer is down, but that's okay, because me and my uh, drug death lord are not. Oh, okay, you're focusing on me. That uh, is, um, Yeah, you don't do that much damage. Oh, that was famous last words. Okay, yeah, see, famous last words and all. Okay, there we go. Challenge. Yeah, I mean, you were the one that was down, Mercer, but sure, whatever. Talk, talk shit if you want to, I suppose. Let's take this stuff. Yeah, we are right at the edge of our carry I don't know why we... I, yeah, it's just the dragon bones. Man, everything weighs so much. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, I think that's the game's, game's way of telling me you need to stop taking things, Sam. Your well, inventory is full, but... uh, Oh my god, look at all these cool arrows. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to listen to that game. I think we actually do need to... Uh, oh, a broom? Why oh yeah, I've still got all of this trash in my inventory, haven't I? Yeah, a hammer. Get out of my inventory. What else have I got? Have I got anything else that I don't like? Yeah. Oh, I'll put the wolf pelt away. Yeah, okay, there we go. We've got a tiny bit more carry weight. Let's also heal up a little bit. Open up this door. Oh, look at this. This is like a, a trap that's been set up, I think. Oh yeah, look at that, because it falls on the pressure plate. I see, I see. I don't really know what the pressure plate does. Oh, arrows, I would assume. We're oh! On the right track. She's been through here as well. Oh, okay. I stopped there because this looks like a, 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 you know, a swinging blade hallway, but I guess not. Oh, hello. We have a man here. Let's uh, get our last dagger. Can I please, please get a sneak? Okay, no. Okay. Your blood okay. My blade. <laughs> he, he noticed us right at the end there. This is one of our wonderful friends. Just, I just love Mercer so much. You know, just my bestie. Okay, we didn't uh, we didn't get a soul there because the effect wore off. But never mind. Uh, yeah, it was an execution. It was indeed. You are you are a, a powerful ally, Mercer. I will admit that. You only, I'm pretty sure I have something to say. Look at this. Look, our Death Lord is uh, running along here, which is excellent. Yeah, he's a good companion actually. We'll keep him for as long as we can. Okay. Yeah. Look at this. We've uh, got a. Oh wow. Okay. We've got a dragon priest. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's just a symptom of our level, rather you than, hide from me. you know, rather than an actual, it's not a named dragon priest, I'm sure of that, it's just a dragon priest, like, oh, okay, like, as an enemy, uh, but yeah, there's, there's no named dragon priest in here, I'm 100% sure of that, but yeah, that's, 
interesting. I mean, it kind of doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Uh, who is... Out of my way. Are you the oh, Yeah, you're an enemy, right? Yeah, Dragon Death Lord is yeah. Soul Trap. Okay, that's weird, you because you can definitely Soul Trap Death Lords who've been doing that, but I don't know, where is, where is this... Where's this priest? Oh, he's down here. I see, I see, yeah. We're definitely not going to be able to soul trap the dragon priest, but we should definitely deal with this man. Uh, well, we'll leave the dragon death lord and Mercer to deal with the other lesser, lesser dragon, and we'll deal with the big boy. Well, to be honest, you're not, I don't know, you're not too beefy. I feel like you're a little bit overstated. It doesn't really make sense to me that there's a whole load of kind of unnamed dragon priest. It seems a little bit of a, you know, they kind of just, uh, we do have a work wall here though, by the way. I think this is disarm. Yes, it is indeed, yes. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I don't know, it seems just kind of like they've kind of reduced the... Oh, hello! Uh, they kind of just re reduced them to, you know, kind of an enemy type, which doesn't really make sense. I feel like there would be very much a finite amount of dragon priests, but... Whatever, you can't have everything, I guess. You have no gold. Ice and chitin? Light armor increased to 50! Nice, that's a big level. Yeah, we really need to... Yeah, I think well, one of the big things we need to do is we really need to upgrade all of our armor. Uh, Soon-ish, really, you can't take that. Because, um, yeah, we are kind of falling behind on that. So I will be grinding out enchanting at some point. Um, so so soon-ish, like in the next, I don't know, 10 to 20 episodes-ish. <laughs> That's very vague, but I will be doing it, trust me, I will be doing it. Uh, I hope you've got a solution for this, Mercer, because I didn't see a claw. Ah, it's one of the infamous Nordic puzzle doors. How quaint. Without the matching claw, they're normally impossible to open. Since I'm certain Carlia already did away with it, we're on our own. Fortunately, these doors have a weakness if you know how to exploit it. Quite simple, really. Carlia's close, I'm certain of it. Now let's get moving. See now now how did you do that, Mercer? Because uh, I've come across a lot a lot of these. And that, that's not how it works, he's just kind of standing with his mouth agape there. <laughs> I assume that's, that's Gallus, that skeleton right there. Yeah, I'm sure that absolutely nothing is going to happen. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> I thought nothing was going to happen. Uh, obviously, I was wrong. And yeah, you can't, you can't loot him, by the way. We found Carlia, but I don't see her. Do you honestly think your arrow will reach me before my blade finds your heart? Give me a reason to try. You're a clever girl, Carlia. Buying Golden Glow Estate and funding Haunting Brew Meadery was inspired. To ensure an enemy's defeat, you must first undermine his allies. It was the first lesson Gallus taught us. You always were a quick study. Not quick enough. Otherwise Gallus would still be alive. Gallus had his wealth and he had you. All he had to do was look the other way. Did you forget the oath we took as Nightingales? Did you expect him to simply ignore your methods? Enough of this mindless banter. Come, Carlia. It's time for you and Gallus to become reunited. I'm no fool, Mercer. Crossing blades with you would be a death sentence, but I can promise the next time we meet, it will be your undoing. How interesting. It appears Gallus's history has repeated itself. Carlia has provided me the means to be rid of you, and this ancient tomb becomes your final resting place. But do you know what intrigues me the most? The fact that this was all possible because of you. Farewell. I'll be certain to give Brynjolf your regards. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm sure we all absolutely didn't see that coming. Easy. Easy. Don't get up so quickly. How are you feeling? 
Hold on. You shot me. No. I saved your life. What, you did shoot me? My arrow was tipped with a unique paralytic poison. It slowed your heart and kept you from bleeding out. Had I intended to kill you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Why save me? My original intention was to use that arrow on Mercer. But I never had a clear shot. I made a split-second decision to get you out of the way and it prevented your death. You should have shot Mercer instead. I promise you, the thought crossed my mind. The poison on that arrow took me a year to perfect. I only had enough for a single shot. All I had hoped was to capture Mercer alive. Why capture Mercer alive? Mercer must be brought before the guild to answer for what he's done. He needs to pay for Gallus's murder. How will you prove it now? My purpose in using Snowvale Sanctum to ambush Mercer wasn't simply for irony's sake. Before both of you arrived, I recovered a journal from Gallus's remains. I suspect the information we need is written inside. Well, what's it say? I wish I knew. The journal is written in some sort of language I've never seen before. Perhaps it could be translated. Enther. Gallus' friend at the College of Winterhold. Of course. It's the only outsider Gallus trusted with the knowledge of his Nightingale identity. There's that word again. Nightingale. There were three of us. Myself, Gallus, and Mercer. We were an anonymous splinter of the Thieves' Guild in Riften. Perhaps I'll tell you more about it later. Right now, you need to head for Winterhold with the journal and get the translation. Here, take these as well. They may prove useful for your journey. Okay, so Mercer has betrayed us to literally be nobody's surprise. And we will find out more about Carlia in the next episode. But for now, I'm going to leave this episode here. So I hope you have enjoyed. Like the episode if you have. Subscribe if you would like to see more. And I will see you in the next episode.